Pro Custom Tactics in FC24. Look no further. My name is Redlack and I'm a pro player. And these are Pep Guardiola's 3-4-2-1 tactics, which are solid at the back and clinical in attack. Let's get into the tactics and I'll tell you how to use them properly. Before you copy them, just wait. I'll explain each and every position's instructions and what type of player you should use there. We're gonna get a bit nerdy. This is so you can maximise these tactics and get your highest rank ever. So, this is the team that we were using. Now, you might be thinking it's a very good team. Well, you should be thinking it's a very good team. But I'm just gonna talk you through the personnel of what type of player you want to use in each position. Now... There's a few loan cards in there. That's just because I wanted to use the perfect type of player for the formation. Whereas, for example, Hernandez left mid. Havertz is actually perfect to play there. But I just couldn't get chemistry. Now, without further ado, let's get into the tactics. Now, for this formation, because I've got them set up in the three back, we don't even need to do it on defensive or attacking. We're just going to get straight into it on here. Now, first things first, the defensive style. Pretty much everyone uses balanced, balanced direct passing so we're going to keep it as that for now onto the width on the fence now you're going to see some snazzy numbers in this video some you've not seen before on fc24 but we're going to stop it right there jamie carragher 25 width now this is because if you think about it usually you have four defenders now you've got five that's an extra one obviously so if you make them even more compact they can shuffle over and defend even better so we want them touch tight at the back no gaps just make sure you defend. Now, onto the depth. Now, this one's pretty normal in the FIFA scene. Around, like we say in every video, 65 to 72. Well, normally 67 to 72. But today, we're going for 65. A bit less, because I feel like with the five back, it's actually better to drop off sometimes. You don't want to be too high, because that will just delete the point of you being five back. The point of being five back is you have extra men and a better chance at defending. Offensive build-up play, we're going for balanced, pretty standard procedure, same with direct passing as we mentioned. That's just normal for pro FC players. Onto offensive width now. We're gonna absolutely slam this up, higher than I've ever used before on this game, 55. Now we're gonna go for 55 because normally I'd go for about 40-ish, maybe 45 max, but because we're even wider than before, we have them wide mids, we have the left forward, right forward and the striker. We need the team to push wide on attack. This is so that you have more options. And as I'll show you later on, when you set it to the right centre back, you can hit the left mid with ease. It might even engage their right back and leave you with a three on two in attack. Now onto players in box. Now we spoke about this in our last video and it's pretty important. We're going to go for seven. This is so we get more in the box, especially with that five back formation. Well, 3 4 2 1. You're going to want your players to bomb into the box, otherwise, you're going to have a lack of options up top. You have got the three strikers, but it can help even more if you get the wide mids up and even the DMs as an option. It means you can attack with five and defend with five. That's the whole point. These wide mids are so important in this formation. They double up as fullbacks and wingers. For corners, we're going for two. That's pretty standard. I've said that in previous videos. You want one sort of on the edge of the six yard box, one at the back post, one towards the near post and one on the edge that's perfect you have multiple options so you can do multiple different corner techniques whether you take it short or whip it in you should be able to score from corners especially if you watch my tutorials on shorts on to free kicks we're going for one it doesn't really matter um i don't cross it in any way so i think it's actually better to have one bring a player short pass it to him and then make a chance or if it's a shooting range Another one, check the tutorials, will bang that into the top corner. Now, they're the tactics. Let's move on to the instructions, which are so important for this formation. So, it's all pretty simple. Striker on balanced, left forward and right forward on getting behind, right mid and left mid on come back, stay wide. This is so that they can play as that five back, left wing and right wing back, but also play as a left wing and right winger as well. Centre mids, both on stay back and cover centre. This is so that they fill in when they're right back and left back, run up the pitch. And yeah, you'll still be able to defend without them. Centre backs and goalkeeper balance. You can defend with your goalkeeper however you want. You can move him using the right stick or even the double Y to stop the cross. That's it for the tactics. Let's get into some gameplay clips and show you the best ways to use this formation. So guys, into the clips. Now, I'm going to show you how to build up in this formation, how to win the ball back. And yeah. It's pretty much based on counter-attack. So the first clip here, as you can see, we are on the counter. We get tackled. No problem. This player is now attacking me. Just slow down in defence. Bring your players back. As you can see, we're trying to cut the passing lanes. We win it back again. But now look, we've got a three on four. Sawloff running in behind. 
and I'm going to talk to you about what type of players you need to use in each position. So, we're going to use left forward, someone who's quick, someone who's powerful, yeah? Someone like Haaland, or if you can't afford him, someone like Boniface or Sorloff. As you can see, we hit the left forward again. This is because he's so quick with the ball and so good at finishing, but you can also win them headers, which you'll see later on. This brings us on to our right forward, who we have Mbappe. This is someone who's quick with unlimited pace and that ability to shoot across goal, or even cross it to Sorloff. Now, here's another attack with being brave. One more pass. We're playing like Man City. Pep Guardiola, he loves that pass. The winger to winger with the tap in. There's always a one more pass in this formation. And that brings us on to the striker. The striker's going to have no instructions because he's sort of playing as a playmaker, as you can see again. One more, one more. He's playing in that role, that centre forward role, looking for the passes. And yeah, someone like Son's perfect. Four star skills, five star weak foot, gold finesse. He can finesse either side or he can do a power shot or something like that. As you can see, the switch of play is so important in this formation where the width comes in importantly because, yeah, basically, look, we set it to the left centre back, switch to the right back, it, right mid, sorry. It's then engaged his player. We've one more it, one more it because he can't even, it's, in, it's locked him onto the header, but he can't header it. He's too far away. So, yeah, as you can see, again, we've hit that switch, triggered Saul off. Now we're running with it. What can we do? Run out wide, hit the centre mid, but because of that trigger of play, We've now got an overload and an easy goal. Whether it's offside or not, it's an easy goal. Now, as you can see with the keeper, it's the same sort of vibe. Look at the mini map. The left mid and right back, the left mid and right mid are pushing out wide as an option, which means you've always got something on. Look at the map. We can go left or right. We hit the right back. And now look, we're just in. It's as simple as that in this formation. Now, at right mid and left mid, the sort of player you want to get is a strong, quick fullback who can double up as a winger. Someone like Theo, Havertz, or even Claus is perfect for this because they're so good at defending, but they're even better on the ball. Now, as you can see, he's on the attack. We're just defending scared. You have to be scared at times, bringing your players back, but then when it's the right time, be aggressive. Here's another switch. We just set it to Gabriel and even use one of their manual switches with the R1 and square. And yeah, we just try and get an attack going. Doesn't really work. But yeah, we're just bringing players back. And when the right mid's gone out of position, we can chase back and still have that back four, which is so, so important. Set the free centre centre back. Go back to the man who just tackled. And now we're in down the line. It's as simple as that. And yeah, pretty much a centre back. You want a left centre back and right centre back. Someone who's quick. On the left, you want someone who's left footed. On the right, someone who's right footed, ideally. Someone like Gabriel and Ben White are perfect for these positions. Because... When they're dribbling out, Gabriel's playing on his left foot, White's on his right. And look now, Claus is out of position. We've slowed it right down. You can see that traditional back four now with Claus out of the picture and we still defend with ease. So if you're aggressive with someone and miss the tackle, it doesn't matter. You've still got four defenders. But here is where we start looking at how aggressive you can be. White's coming out, won the ball, then playing a sort of a DM role like John Stones for Man City, playing them passes. And then we're just going to highlight the centre-centre back from now on because... The centre centre back is so important. He's six foot nine. Yeah, look at him there. He sort of plays like a DM. Six foot nine, 99 jumping, silver aerial. He steps out, plays as a DM, and wins the ball and starts a counter attack. But the thing is, even when he steps out, without me doing anything, by the way, he just locks onto it. Without me doing anything, he steps out and we've got a traditional back four. I've mentioned that a hundred times. But yeah, as you can see here, he just starts a counter attack by winning that ball. And he's so, so important in this position. Now, if someone like Torre is perfect or even Jonathan Tart as a cheap alternative. As you can see, again, we're aggressive. We pull the right mid up, make sure the guy's offside. No problems at all. Again, Torre winning it as that DM role at CCB. Starts a counter-attack, and then what should we talk about? Crosses. Like I said, guys, get that Haaland, that Soloff, that Boniface at left forward, ready for the cross, and ready for the header. There's a few clips coming up now of me utilising that. It might be a bit ratty, but that's FIFA. And guess what? It's cutback City. It's Man City FC. So yeah, we green one wide there. It's unfortunate you're not going to score every single one, but it's good to get the green timing going. A centre mid, you want sort of ball winner or a ball winner and a ball player is ideal. We've got Rodri, who's naturally a ball winner, but he's also got that ping pass goal. He can play out of it. And we've got KDB, who's a ball player. He can find a pass from nothing and he's immense in that role. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We're nearly at 100k. Leave a comment on what formation you want to see next. Peace. Lebash. Do you want to play out from the back in FIFA, but your keeper is more like De Gea than Edison? Who should be higher rated in EAFC? Liao or Dembele? Get out.
the game, man. Three in the white wash, throw that pad, you're done. <laughs>